Yeah, we will talk about Accelerate, uh, power to the e-commerce manager. Um, and I'm Jens, I'm the CEO at WebMind. I have been working with web and e-commerce for almost 20 years. Uh, and for the last years I've been focusing on uh, Obraco and e-commerce. I'm certified on both of the platforms and I've been awarded MVP on both of them. I'm not a developer, so I brought one. <laughs> Yes, uh, my name is uh, Linus. I'm a developer at WebMind. Also one of the creators of Accelerate and Igloo Theme and some other stuff. Um, yeah. And WebMind is a Swedish web agency. We are Umbroka Gold Partner and e-commerce powerhouse. Uh, we were founded in 2004 and we worked with uh, .NET based uh, web development from the beginning. And for the past six years, we have been working only with Umbraco and uh, e-commerce. We're about 10 people. Uh, we have our main office in Gothenburg and a small office in Örebro. Um, we are the host of the Swedish Umbraco Festival. Uh, and we have, together with e-commerce, uh, developed, developed uh, Accelerate. Some short e-commerce facts. Uh, it's a global company. They've been around for 10 years, uh, founded in Denmark, but has uh, offices in four countries now. They have more than 3,000 active installations running, and they are the market-leading platform for content and commerce. So they're well, well established, uh, both, both as a platform and as a company. And uh, they worked with content and com commerce connected uh, from the start. They wanted to create an e-commerce platform that was a part of the CMS, a part of the one solution. Uh, the idea is to have just one site, not an e-commerce site, but one site, both technology and for the organization, so that everyone uh, is working with the same targets. Uh, from the beginning, they worked only with Umbraco, and that's why it's e-commerce, of course. Uh, and now they are uh, integrating with four different .NET CMSs. Uh, I think they have done a great job with content and commerce connected. Uh, but I think that with Accelerate, we take uh, even a step further. So, what is Accelerate? This is a quote from one of our developers. Accelerate gives you well-designed and easy extendable e-commerce starter kit to seam seamlessly mix your products and content. Does that make sense? Good. <clears throat> and this is how it's done technically. Uh, it's in Broco in the base. Uh, on top of that, it's e-commerce. And then we install Accelerate as an Umbraco package. And we also get the full uh, front end from that. So why Accelerate? Uh, let's look at that from three different angles. Uh, we have the, our job as the partners or the developers. Uh, we have the e-commerce manager's uh, perspective. And we have the, the angle for, from the customers or the end users. For the partners uh, or the developers, we want to create a baseline uh, that gives you a quick start in your product, project. We don't want you to be, able to be needed to do all that boring uh, groundwork that you usually do in each and every project that mainly often just take you to the same place in each project. We want to give you a head start, a baseline uh, that gives you an up and running web shop in days or hours, basically. Uh, and after that, you put on your own magic on top of that. You can extend it and build whatever your client needs for just that project. So the, the work you do is really valuable for your clients. We also want to make sure that the e-commerce manager get a great tool, a flexible way to present products, product listing, content, and all, all things combined. Um, they should be able to promote different products, create different landing pages, and everything very flexible. They should focus on the product, not on some fixed template. 
And of course, we want to make sure that the, the visitors of the website or the consumers, uh, that they get a good experience, uh, easy to find products, easy to find content, uh, easy purchase, of course, uh, nice and, and smooth checkout flow. So, you accelerate, it's not a shop in a box. You can use it at that. You, you can be up and running so fast and produce it as a shop in a box. But that's not the entire aim or focus for us. We want to create a flexible baseline that you can extend and change for every project. Uh, we have a, an open and extendable REST API that makes it easy to add extra fields in the checkout and to, to extend the products, grids or pages. Uh, and so on. We also have a, a well-structured less library, uh, so it's easy for you to modify CSS and so on. Uh, and you can also use Accelerate to uh, create product uh, RSS feeds for uh, Facebook, Google Shopping and stuff like that. SEO is, of course, important in e-commerce. Uh, we have made a lot of work to make a good foundation for SEO. Uh, and of course, for each project, there is different needs and different techniques, but we have to make sure that you have a good foundation that you can use and extend. Um, we have made uh, structured data for products, article, uh, company information and such. Uh, and we have also worked a lot with speed. These numbers is from uh, a test on our start page on the uh, demo sh shop and I think that's a really good result for a web shop. So some clients that are using uh, Accelerate. Uh, this is a company called Future Group. They have five different brands of uh, goggles, uh, eyewears and uh, helmets. Um, four of these brands are already using Accelerate. Uh, the fifth is is in production right now. The first Accelerate we built for them was for the brand Prestige, and we launched it uh, today, a year ago exactly. Um, after we launched it, they increased their online sales with 260 percent for the uh, two first months. Uh, and that wasn't only because it was a nice looking web shop, it was also because the e-commerce manager and the marketing team could do what they really needed to do with their e-commerce solution. Um, their e-commerce manager was kind of a part of the project when we developed uh, Accelerate. We got a lot of feedback and help from her. Uh, on what an e-commerce manager needs for their daily work. We have also built some uh, B2B uh, shops for, on, on Accelerate. Uh, this one sells software. Uh, it's a very complicated product structure. Um, and it's a very different implementation of Accelerate, very different from a B2C shop. And it shows how flexible Accelerate can be in our production. Lakris by Bylov. Uh, this is actually the first project that was produced by another partner than Webmind. Uh, the Danish company Kruso uh, produced this e-commerce solution in eight weeks during last summer, during the vacation times. Uh, a complete new web shop, integrations, content, commerce, uh, products, uh, eight different uh, languages, all done uh, within the uh, time frame with three extra da days to, to spare. Um, and it has worked out really great for the customer. Uh, they sell a lot of, of their products online now. Uh, and Crusoe is very satisfied with the product, so they're starting up a new project right now for a client with nine different shops in one solution. So, this is a good case story. Uh, you can actually buy Accelerate on Accelerate. Uh, Ucommerce.net is running uh, on Accelerate. So, I will start, stop talking, and let Linus show up <laughs> start, some stop a talking. demo Good. instead. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> for this demo, I thought we would step into the shoes of our e-commerce manager as we work on this little fake store that I have set up for us. Let's see here in the background. Call it the a lot shop. And this store right now, this is the, the home page. We've got some uh, promotion banners here, some more. Getting some content from our blog. Then we have a newsletter sign up, some store USPs, and then our footer. Uh, so let's have a look in Umbraco. Now, this will be Umbraco 7. Sorry about that. We are working on Umbraco 8. So, this is how, for example, the start page looks. So we have our different blocks here. You can see, uh, first I have a grid with two cards, and I have the sunglasses. This represents this first block here. And then everything else is with these blocks. And the last one here is called a global content block. It's just a way of putting content widgets here so they can uh, share content on different pages. So before we begin, I'm just gonna do a quick tour of Ucelerate. So I've only installed Ucelerate, put a couple of products in there uh, and some, some content. So we have our um, home node which has some SEO settings. Uh, we can also control the header here, building custom navigation, uh, logo, theme, stuff like that. And even the, the footer is made with nested content as well, which you can see here, logo, two lists, and some social icons. And you modify the width as well of these blocks which allows you to build. You can't really see it. it's a bit bright, but um, any type of footer basically can be built. So apart from that, we have our blog here. Uh, then we have a OneNote that represents our product page, product detail page. One that represents search, checkout, sitemap. And then under settings here, I have some general settings, some SEO, can connect to newsletters, Instagram, set up if you're running different languages, cookie consent, stuff like that. And then I have OneNote, which has some more e-commerce settings for search, product, checkout, and so on. And then finally, we have our emails. Right now, we only have one, sending our order confirmation email. Okay. So for our first mission, we are gonna put some products on this page. Right now, it looks nice, but we're not really showing any products. So let's do that. So I'm just gonna go here and then I'm gonna add a product list. And let's see, it's just in. And I'm gonna go down in WooCommerce and select some products. So we're gonna do the like so. That so these are gonna be 25% width. And I'm gonna send to the content. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place this right under our top grid. All right. So now I have some uh, nice products right here. The next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a category page for some watches, and I'm gonna add some kind of content block that promote that category page. So that I'm gonna use a hero block. And I'm gonna place that right over the block. So, buy some watches. Need a background image here, Let's see. There we go. So white theme, uh, I'm gonna make this about 55% of the height of the screen. Some setting for overlay, I'm gonna center the text at the bottom. 
And then finally, I'm going to add a button as well. So, um, uh, explore. I don't have this link yet, so I just go home. White. And there we go. Now we have a pretty big block here to go to our category page. So let's go ahead and create this category page now. So like everything else in Ucelerate, we work with basically one page template. Let's call these watches. And this is what you get when you create a page. We have nothing between header and footer. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to add a product category. And I'm going to go ahead and select a category from WooCommerce, watches. So you'll do something like 20 products per page. All right. So we're already up and running with our category. Didn't even have 20 products, but uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some filters to this. So in the bottom here, I'm just going to add filter and call this color. Now, go into WooCommerce here. The value there is just to corres correspond with something for my watches. So in this case, color. Like so. So if I save this and update, and here we can see that it creates, uh, goes through the products, groups them together, and creates a nice filter function for us. Next up, let's actually make the filter more visible. So I'm going to go ahead and pin the filter to the side here. OK. Products are looking a bit small, so I'm going to go ahead and change to three per row. OK. So finally, let's add some content to this. Um, so I'm going to put a hero block here in the top. Let's get a picture, take the same one, um, watch this, that's going to make this around 45 and set it to animate, Let's see how that looks. Okay. One more thing that we can do is I can go in on the settings here and I can select the transparent header to start with. That'll give me this little effect. Okay, that's our category page. So the next thing we should look at is the product detail page. So uh, let's go back to my little monkey here. So this is uh, sort of the base. You got products, you got some additional images. We're getting some uh, more content from WooCommerce here. Short description and price with currency. The long description, uh, some details, only one right now. And then also getting the reviews for that product. And then also some related products from WooCommerce as well. But we might want to put some more content onto this page. So one way we can do to add content to all product pages is just to open a product node here. And then I'll go in and let's say we wanted to add the newsletter to all product detail page. Let's go ahead and pick that. And there we go. But I might also want to add content specifically to this product. And the way we do that is I'm going to add a new global content node. 
and I'm going to call this gallery. Let's add a widget here. Uh, here we go. I have a lot of these images. Let's see. Right. And add some widths here. And now I just need to open my product in WooCommerce. And under the correct language, I'm going to go into global content here and I'm going to point to that gallery. Hit that little retro save button. Okay, so then we have our content block. And I can, of course, add as many as I would like to to this page, just showing adding a gallery. Okay. Actually, let's add that to our cart. And maybe a watch as well. Okay. So the next, next thing I wanted to show is when we do a landing page, um, you might have a campaign or something going and you want to direct traffic not onto this page, but actually to something that tells a little bit more of a story. Uh, so I created one for a Flick Smart button, which is this little Bluetooth button. So here I have a hero with a, with a video instead of an image. And then I added some, some content blocks here from some USBs, added a, a gallery, and some information about services, <coughs> slider, some technical information, some testimonials, and then some uh, actual product. So if I look at this in the back office, it just looks like this. So one cool thing I can do with Ucelerate is wherever I can add a button, I can also connect that button to a product and make it into a buy button. So for example, let's go into the bottom one here and I'll add a button. So the normal link button and then one connected to a product. Connect this to my product. Order now. And a big one. Okay. So uh, this button actually adds this product to the cart, like so. So, it's time, we have some products, it's time to check out. Um, we looked at a lot of different checkout flows when we made Ucelerate, uh, and it seemed to be a trend, at least when we started building it, to make these uh, checkout wizards, which had like six different steps, and they had the cart overview page, which I have no idea why you would have, uh, and then payment, uh, shipping information, and then finally, this order confirm page before proceeding with payment. So we, we really wanted to get you three clicks for, for purchase. So you would do one, two, and then you will be at the checkout. So instead we did like this. Here you have my cart. Then I have my shipping information here. So select the country and again, there and the payments, payment methods are here like tabs. So I'm going to go ahead here. Some information. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, and then I complete my order, 
And there we go. Uh, as you can see, I've also added my own content table enough because this is just a normal page. We have one widget, which is for the order confirm, and then I just added my GIF here. So, uh, any questions about this? I know we sort of a fast demo to a lot of things. Okay. I think there is uh, more payment types of what will happen when there is uh, something like a pen payment. Uh, then you would have to do some changes to the template. But we tried to make it very easy with the complete less uh, files and a good structure. But there, you can get the shop in a box, but you should, there's always a little bit of adjusting for, for every case. Okay. No more questions. <laughs> was it so simple and clear? <laughs> or was it so confusing that you don't know where to start? Okay, if you want to know more about your sell rate and your commerce, please reach out for to, to your commerce. They are happy to give you a personal demo demo. Uh, if you have a possible uh, client, uh, your sell rate can actually uh, you commerce could actually build a POC for you for that specific client. Uh, so they build up a web shop with that client's brand, content and a couple of uh, products. That, it's, that is really helpful in a sales pitch and you can show the client how, on, of how it should look and, and work when they're done. Nothing else? Then we're done here. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.